Saturday, May the 26th from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. at Young and Dundas Square. And it's all free. Let's find out more from organizer Satish Bala. Welcome to the studio. Thank you for having me. Exciting times for you. 12 hours. 12 hours. Non-stop free music. Tell us about how you go about putting a lineup like this together. The lineup was actually um, much easier than anticipated. There's a lot of great Canadian artists that are looking for exposure. So once we contacted a few, the word started uh, getting out among the artist community and um, we actually had more talent than we had hours in the day to do something. So really? yeah, there's a ton of people that are already queued up for year two and year three and, and they're getting ready for it. So uh, we were able to jam pack as much as we can in a 12 hour showcase. But the thing I like the most about this showcase is it's truly Canadian and it's representing the multitude of talent that we have yeah. across the country. Absolutely. Let's start off. You have Josh coming from Montreal, yeah, right? Josh is coming. The Bills are going to be here. Uh, Disha, you know, nominated R&B singer yeah. is also in there. Um, we've got a combination of traditional and, and fusion. And uh, the focus of the project was to... Um, Basically, in the month of, of, of May, being Celtic and Heritage Month, let's honor and, and, and um, showcase the traditional stuff that we're used to seeing and, 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 and also segue there into what's happening with that music. How is the tabla and the sitar um, being fused into other music that uh, the next generations have uh, taken ownership of and are doing something with? So during the day, we've got Tirichi Sankare, wow. Saeed Ali Khan yeah. is performing. Uh, we get into some of the DJs and break dancers and, and uh, electronica music. We've got uh, Zamir and Falik two great rock bands, one in, in Urdu and in English, and so um, I think the, the lineup kind of shows where the South Asian Canadian artist is, is heading towards. And let's talk about that. Were you surprised when you started this project at the depth? And what you mentioned every musical genre there, I guess aside from country music, yeah. <laughs> um, but you were you surprised at the depth at which uh, the, the music is being made in this country? Oh yeah, I mean, um, as, as any organization, uh, your, your fear is how are we going to pack this up? Yeah. What, what does the crowd want to see? What is the, the reaction? But um, once we started putting the layers back, there's a ton of really great artists. And a lot of them really want to make it in Canada. And, and part of the project is to kind of stop the exporting of, of talent that's kind of happening. And, and we're yeah, hoping this could um, play a small role in, in stopping And that. let's talk about the exporting, because we cover film a lot here. And we like to sort of cheer on our filmmakers to get out there and get ex uh, you know exposure in different countries. But these artists actually have quite a bit of exposure now in other countries. I know the bills are blowing up oh, yeah. in, in a lot of places. And Josh, obviously, is really popular in India. What do you think the uh, perception is of Canadian South Asian music in other parts? Actually, internationally, we get a huge um, uh, respect and love. Um, it's just locally, I think we need to, to position them in, different, uh, in a different manner, that there are some great festivals that are happening, some, some great events that are happening. Um, but internationally, uh, the content that we're producing is loved. You know, the UK, India, I mean, um, the rock bands that we've got uh, are big in Pakistan, and, and they're launching yeah. a CD here for the first time. So I think we're trying to, to build a bridge between international exposure mm -hmm. and, and really good, strong local exposure, where it shouldn't be difficult to get the same content here, and you shouldn't go to another country to experience Canadians. And you're locked for programming right now, but if people are interested in getting involved in years to come, they can uh, log on to the website, I'm yeah, assuming? Yeah, www.dcfest.ca. Uh, there's also a hotline there, a uh, list of different people you can contact, whether you're an artist, vendor, merchandiser, volunteer, whatever it may be. We've got a, a ton of different opportunities to, to get involved. And uh, there is an after party as well where you're going to be celebrating some of the artists. That'll be happening after, and people can find out at daisyfest.ca, right? Absolutely. About how, to, how they can uh, get uh, to that party if they're not there for the all-day party. Yeah, and, and uh, DJ Baba Khan and, and Jitin and some of the, the, the prominent South Asian DJs are, are hosting it. Artists will be there. We get to celebrate a little bit after all the hard work. And great. It's a great idea, and I really urge people. It is free, so I urge yes. people to check it out. <laughs> that's, that's the optimum work. Yeah. Free concert, guys. <laughs> in the summer, it's going to be beautiful at Young and Dundas Square. So check it out. Thanks a lot for coming in. Thank you for having me. And uh, good luck with it. Thank you. When we come back, the superb lineup of talented actors and the ambitious project Life in a Metro. Stay with us. <laughs>